can't believe he over here look, complaining about look, look, because look, I text my baby daddy happy birthday. What are you talking about? How is that disrespectful? How is it disrespectful? Because that's my baby daddy. What are you talking about? Yeah, if you had a baby mama, wouldn't you text her happy birthday? Man, stop playing with me. Man, I'm not trying to hear none of that though. You serious? Yes, I'm dead serious. Man, I'm not going for this though. I don't care what you say. I don't care. It's not care, disrespectful. Sure so you that's that's what you want though, right? That's what I'm on, That's bro. what you want. You take them, have your birthday and that's my baby daddy. That's that's, you, that's what his birthday is. I don't give a fuck. AM. I don't care. That's on you. That's my baby daddy. I'm not bro, gonna treat him crazy. any type of way just because you treat that's yours crazy, any type of way, bro. bro that's, crazy. that's crazy. No, I don't wanna hear that. I'm hey, tired of you always trying to dictate not record. Because you wrong. You wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to him because you always no, you always out here trying to pretend like you somebody that you're not. I don't got time for that. No, bro, nothing. Yes, my whole child's father. My whole father. I don't care. He texts me happy birthday, so what? You didn't even tell me that. Oh my if she's still texting him happy birthday, then they still have something going on. Don't tolerate this type of nonsense, guys. If she wants to be with him, let her go and be with him. You have to have your boundaries. It's crazy. I just got tattooed, so. Really? Yeah. Let me see. That's nice. How you feel if I kiss it, though? Ooh. I mean, it's whatever you want to do. What are we talking about? Me? Mm -hmm. Trey obviously couldn't handle the realities of what just happened. So, you don't think she's fair at this point? She just... Oh my God. She just kissed his stomach. Like you. Like, that's crazy. No, nah, she got liquor in her system. Like, she waiting on me. She not, she not thinking straight, bro. What? She waiting on me. Like, she knows I'm on the way. It's JJ. It's not her. It's JJ. What? He's, like, he's violating. How are you supposed to conduct a loyalty test and not even doing this shit right you don't think it's fair you don't think this was fair for her no man this is this is not fair for either one of us like like i feel like this is not fair i feel like she's being coerced into it like um can you watch tv or something yeah come on this is him this is not her like oh my this god is him manipulating her what her. Like, no this is wrong guys there are some guys that have been brought up so wrong that they were conditioned to be simps. That is why guys like this will always be used by women because there's nothing a woman can do to them that she will ever be wrong. They will always find an excuse for her. Guys, this type of guys can never be helped. What do you have to say on the subject? So, I feel like, I feel like I am attracting high value men um the guy that i'm talking to i've been talking to him for like six months and he is marriage minded and he does throw out you know questions and do you have a son or do you have a son or a daughter i have a daughter and your daughter's how old seven okay so he's yeah. marriage minded yes he he's marriage minded and so i mean of course you know it's six months now so it might be to the point where we should probably be be exclusive, but he hasn't actually asked me to be whoa, exclusive. Whoa, 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 whoa. That doesn't compute. How, you're right. How can so he be marriage minded and you're not exclusive? No, we're not exclusive. Like he's made comments about, you know, me being his wife. I want you to be my wife. Are you guys sexually <laughs> active? No, huh? we haven't had sex. Okay. What? Why? Why? Because I don't get, I'm stingy. I'm stingy with the, with the books. Excuse me? I'm stingy with it. I do not give it up easily. Were you married to your, were you married to your daughter's, your, your baby mama, though, right? Baby mama. I've never been married, no, but I just okay, don't. So let, I know hold on, hold on. Let me, let, let's talk about this, though. See, um, I find it funny that women like yourself, baby mamas, all of a sudden want to get stingy with the puss. After you done After. gave your womb up before a ring. Exactly. But then you want the high value man to put a ring on it before he gets it? Who am I supposed to, <laughs> to give it sense. away? You got damn right you already did. Because here's the thing. See, that's what I mean. <clears throat> man, you're a used vehicle wanting 
brand new 2021 prices. Mm -hmm. You can laugh all you want to, ma'am, but you just said six months. You're not even exclusive. You're talking about he's marriage minded. What do you think he's inserting his penis in his hand? Exactly. Kevin is a little bit funny there, but the truth is sex starved men will say anything just to get the post. The man is sex starved. He needs to tell her marriage just for her to give it up. And these women come out and say, high value men. What do they even know what it means to be high valued? When you are high valued, women will surround you. You don't have a woman problem when you are an high value man. And to such type don't go for single mothers. This is why women refuse to accept accountability mm -hmm. and would rather cry, mm -hmm. walk away, walk out the room, yeah. block, block his number, whatever. Because we rather do that than take accountability. Right. This mm. is the part men don't understand. Attention is attention. Okay. Is attention is attention. So, okay. so whether it's good attention, whether it's bad attention, as long as we are the center of it, mm. it doesn't exactly. really matter. All of that emotional spiraling is because it gets us attention. Yeah, exactly. That is why you must give them zero attention when they are critically demanding for it. Yeah, I got, I'm a single mom with four kids. I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all been chatting a lot in my comment section talking about dang four kids, no man. I can't understand. But let me give y'all a little rundown on how I got here, okay? So boom, 18 year old me, fresh out of high school, got married to my first baby daddy, ex-husband, whatever you want to call it. I was going to the military and we decided let's get married so we can get stationed together. Shout out to that. Y'all, I didn't even make it to boot camp because I ended up pregnant with twins. So 18 year old me, pregnant with twins. A year later, ended up pregnant with my other son. So that's three kids by the age of 20, y'all. Two years later, me and my baby daddy got a divorce and I ended up with my son second baby dad at that time i had my tube size so i was like girl ain't a way i can get pregnant we weren't trying for a kid nothing like that but sure enough i sure ended up pregnant with my tube style at the age of 23 i ended up having my last child and me and my baby daddy stayed married for the past five years up until last year when we decided to separate and now here i am with four kids and going through divorce with my second baby dad yes. outside looking in i'm sure it sounds crazy as heck but when you're living it it's kind of not that crazy honestly like life happens relationships end i'm so thankful to my baby daddies for my kids i love them so much but just because of relationship ends and not mean the kids go away so yes i have four kids y'all and they are well taken care of y'all keep on asking me am i gonna have another kid absolutely not i'm okay with the kids that i have will i get married again in the future probably i mean i love love so i wouldn't count that out but right now it's just me and my kids chilling vibe and making it through life so what's the point of this whole video now you are a single mother with four kids from two different baby daddies at 23 or 24 and you're happy about it so much so you post it online what is wrong with these modern women it seems there is a knot out in their brain somewhere wow thank you very much fellas for staying tuned to the end i'll see you in the next episode bye